Hello everyone, my name is Robbie Connect. This is Bitcoin Explained Part 2. If you haven't seen Part 1, go check out Part 1. It's just titled Bitcoin Explained Part 1. Uh, and this is Bitcoin Explained Part 2. So in the first part, Part 1, I explained how Bitcoin basically gets rid of this middle part. Brief rundown, say I buy $100 worth of Apple stock in Cash App. And I don't want to use the Cash App anymore. I want to use Venmo. I forgot to mention in the previous post, you can't buy stocks via Venmo. So this is just more for explanatory purposes. So I have $100 worth of Apple stock in the Cash App. And I, want, I don't want to use the Cash App anymore. I want to use Venmo. So what I have to do with the Apple stock is I have to sell the $100 worth of Apple stock then I have to withdraw that $100 into my bank and then take the bank and deposit it into my Venmo account and rebuy the $100 worth of Apple stock, which you're probably going to have a fee to pay here, fee to pay here, as well as some taxes probably. And what Bitcoin does is say I, have, I buy $100 worth of Bitcoin in the Cash App and I don't want to use the Cash App anymore and I want to use Venmo. What Bitcoin does is basically gets rid of this middle step. I could just transfer my Bitcoin from the Cash App to the Venmo account and there's probably only going to be a fee here upon the transfer from the Cash App to the Venmo. So it basically gets rid of this middle part. That's really it. The thing though with Apple stock compared to Bitcoin is Apple stock, you're buying a part of the company, you're buying value, you're buying the iPhone, the iPad, you're buying what the company produces. So there's a value to buying that $100 worth of Apple stock. Well, when you buy Bitcoin, $100 worth of Bitcoin, Bitcoin is only a transfer slash, well, it's really only like a transfer want to say it's really only a transfer slash storage quote technology uh, and the only thing it has going for it is the supply and demand dynamics which I've posted about in previous videos where there's only a limited supply so basically the more that people buy Bitcoin the higher the price is going to go and vice versa there's really no value other than that even if you want to call that value to Bitcoin that's it Bitcoin explained part two like the video Comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Love you. Bye.